If you are looking to style your image generation with Flux LoRa models, this video will explain the entire process in the simplest way possible. You will learn how to find the best Flux LoRa models, install them, and style your images with an easy approach. Also, I will be revealing some of my personal favorite LoRa models to help you take your images to the next level. So go ahead onto Civit AI. I will be using the LoRa model here, which is Duabrez Flux. This is for a more painting artistic style, but you can still go ahead with any LoRa model, the process will still work the same. I'll go ahead to click here to download the model, save it into your comfy UI directory, you go under your models folder and look for the LoRa folder. I have made a folder called Flux that saves the LoRa models. These are generic Flux LoRa models, so this is where we store them. But if you are using the LoRa files from Xlab, that will be saved differently into the Xlabs folder. So be careful to place your models in the proper directories, otherwise your results might not work properly. From here, I'll go ahead to open up the portable folder, come down here, I'll right click, then open Comfy UI. I'll be using the default Comfy UI workflow with Flux. So I'll come up here, select browse and load the workflow. To create this simple workflow, I have explained a step-by-step -step guide in my previous videos, so you can find the link in the top right corner now or in the description. I'll go ahead to zoom in here. I'm using the Flux Dev Quantize Model GGUF. For the dual clip loader, I have the clip name 1 set to T5 XXL, and this helps with the prompt translation for Flux. For clip name 2, I'll leave this at clip underscore L. And down here, make sure you have your type set to Flux. Next to the right, we can see we have the clip text node for the Flux positive prompt. So I'll go ahead to paste in my prompt here. I'll go down here and uh, also I'll change the image size to a vertical ratio. So the width will be 768 and for the height I'll go for 1344. I always want some variation so I'll keep the batch size here at 4. From here the positive prompt is connected into the flux guidance which then goes into the case sampler. I'll zoom in here to the case sampler, I'll change the seed here to 700. I'll also set this to fixed so we can compare the same results after the image generation. 20 steps here will be fine and everything else will be left at default. Down to the load VAE node, make sure you have the flux model AE.SFT selected here or the safe tensor. Well, let's zoom out here then I also want to change this to a different color. Also, I'll rename this to Flux LoRa to create a folder, which will help me to find the images easily. First, let's see what we get from the prompt using Flux. I'll go ahead to use the Q prompt up here to view the results. Alright, so we have all our four variations here from the batch size. These are all incredible from Flux. And from this four, I prefer to go with this one here. I love the imagination from Flux and the execution, so let me know, leave a like if you also feel the same way. Now let's see how combining Flux and the LoRa model will style this image. First we need a LoRa node which would allow us to use a LoRa model. So I'll go ahead here to right click, add a node, go to Lotus, select LoRa loader model only. I'll click here to select the LoRa model we just downloaded for Flux. Also you can control the strength of the LoRa here. One will be more effective and anything less than one will be less effective. So I'll keep mine here at one. Change this color to be purple for the node. Disconnect the unit loader node from the case sampler all the way back here. Then send it into the LoRa loader node, which then goes back into the case sampler. So I'll go back to Civit AI. For every LoRa, look out for the suggested settings from the page. This LoRa requires a trigger word, so I'll copy any one of these. Go back to Comfy UI, I'll zoom in here and paste it into the front of my prompt. We don't have any LoRa requirement for the case sampler, so I'll keep the settings here the same. From here, I'll bypass the save node here so we can compare both of the results. Then I'm going to drag this out, I'll type save, then select the save image node. We will use this node for the new image and LoRa generation to compare the results. From here, I'll use QPrompt once again to see what happens with the Flux and LoRa combination. All right, so these are all looking good from Flux. I like the LoRa style and influence on the images. 
So I'll go ahead to select the fourth image here once again. Then I'll unmute this node so we can see the difference between the two results. Obviously, we can notice the painting artistic style from the LoRa model, changing the original image which had a more realistic appearance. And if your LoRa might be too heavy, you can always go back to the LoRa node to either increase or decrease the LoRa strength. I have a few other examples here using Flux with the same LoRa model to get these final results, which turned out quite amazing. I was really impressed by the artistic style from the LoRa model. Another model you can try out is the artistic model for Flux for a more anime artistic style and also the Flux Art Detailer model for some extra details. If you have tried other workflows that fail to work well, you can go ahead to check out how to create the simplest workflow for Flux in this video. 